what does it cost you to uh, to buy a house? I wanted to uh, share some information on that because they get a lot of uh, questions on, hey, how much does it cost me to close on a house? So we're going to talk about a, a few different uh, uh, situations and, um, and and walk you uh, walk you through it. So. Uh, you know, the first part of, uh, of what it's going to cost you is your down payment. And uh, conventional loans have a 1% down payment loan, a 3% down payment loan, or 5% or anything above that. So you can uh, definitely choose one of those op options. The uh, 1% uh, loan that, uh, that we have available actually uh, requires that you make a certain uh, income um, and not exceed a certain certain income depending on the county. So remember that when uh, when you're looking at uh, calculating how much money uh, you need to bring. But FHA is an, another uh, loan program that requires a three and a half percent down payment. Uh, VA does not require a payment. Uh, I mean, a down payment. You can have a down payment if you if you choose that uh, program but you're not uh, required to put a down payment down. Uh, USDA is another uh, great loan program uh, that we offer, and uh, that has a zero down option as well. And then you have investment property and then uh, second homes. So we'll uh, shoot different videos on the um, different uh, requirements of, of those loan programs. Uh, but basically, uh, closing cost, when you get a, a loan estimate or a closing disclosure, you're going to see eight different sections uh, on that um, closing disclosure or loan estimate. And the lender only has uh, one, one section of the eight that they control. Everything else is controlled by uh, the title company that is chosen for the uh, closing uh, it has to do with the house it, itself because uh, the insurance depends on the house itself. The title insurance uh, depends on the price of the house. So, uh, you know, a lot of uh, people will call lenders and say, hey, what is your what's your closing cost? Well, the lender only controls the lender section, which is section A of those, um, you know, a different uh, section. Typically, that is going to be somewhere around $1,000 to $1,200 in lender fees. And then plus any uh, points that you will have to pay uh, to either drive your rate down or maybe that lender has a, an origination. And then uh, one point or one origination equals 1% of your loan amount. But the basic lender charges should be around a thousand to twelve hundred dollars and then remember about any points that uh, you may want to pay uh, certainly those are not required and uh, you know you can figure out uh, if it makes sense or not to uh, to buy buy points and uh, what a point does it buys the rate down uh, so we can run some numbers uh, for you to figure out you know whether or not it makes sense so that's section A, and I made uh, made some notes here so I didn't uh, forget anything. Uh, section B uh, has to do with uh, different uh, things that you do not have any um, uh, decision in on whether or not uh, you you uh, pay for it, or you or you have to get the service. We have to have an appraisal, uh, credit reports, uh, MERS. Uh, uh, it's an electronic filing system. Uh, processing fees, flood certs, uh, different things like that. And then section C is going, going to be uh, title company uh, fees and what they charge to, to you know, go into their office and actually close the transaction. Now, those fees typically will be uh, section B and section C typically will run around $3,000. And then you'll also have the uh, owner, the uh, lender's title policy, which generally in the state of Texas, it is paid for by the uh, seller. Uh, but if you have to pay for it as a buyer, it depends on what the sales price is. Um, and, and then that will uh, be determined by the Department of Insurance. Uh, but we have uh, calculators that uh, help us determine what that is going to be. 
And then Section C also has uh, title endorsements as well. But uh, like I said, Section B and C normally total about $3,000. Section D will actually add up Sections A and B and C and then uh, put them all together for you. And then Section E is going to be uh, recording fees and things like that that will show the um, – uh, that are filed down at the county courthouse. So it gives you legal rights to the uh, property. Now, Section F is considered uh, prepaid. And so anytime you close on a home, we have to know that is it is insured. So we'll re require in the state of Texas, they require that you bring a full years uh, to the, the closing so we can pay the insurance company what is uh, due to them. So uh, a prepaid is going to be your hazard insurance and any, any prepaid interest uh, that is due on the loan itself. Now, prepaid interest, interest is basically, let's say you close on the 15th of a month. You start borrowing money on the 15th of the month. The day that your loan funds is the day that the interest will start. So you will count the interest from the 15th of the month until the end of the month. So prepaid interest is how many days are left in the month uh, from the time you close until the end of the month of that current month. And then they will collect a prepaid interest uh, for that part. And then you'll have the initial escrow account uh, set up. That's section uh, G on the closing disclosure or loan estimate. Now the initial escrow uh, deposit is completely determined by the uh, the uh, house itself and the taxes that are uh, assessed uh, to that property. So uh, your escrow account will include three months, three additional months. So you brought a year's worth uh, to be able to pay the insurance right off the bat, but then we'll go ahead and collect three months uh, for your uh, escrow uh, payment uh, and put this in your escrow account. So when the bill comes due again next year at this time, then we'll have enough money in the uh, account to pay that. So three months of uh, insurance, three months of taxes, and then um, that will, like I said, depend totally upon the house itself and what the uh, insurance cost and what the taxes are. And then the Section H is consider other other things like uh, oh uh, a survey or pest inspections if you're requir uh, required to get that different things like that so uh, all of these will total up to about four thousand maybe forty five hundred uh, depending on you know the cost of the survey um, and the cost of the appraisals appraisals can be a little bit more expensive if if, uh, if it's further out. Uh, maybe it's uh, land or something like that, but you need to count on uh, roughly 4,000 to 4,500 um, for those basic uh, closing costs. So I did a little scenario. If you have uh, a $400,000 sales price and you have chosen a, uh, a conventional mortgage and you said, okay, I want to put 5% down. So if you have 5% down on $400,000, you're probably, where well, you're looking at uh, $20,000 as a down payment. And then you're looking at uh, roughly $4,000 in, in closing cost again. And then the escrow, escrow account set up and all of that is going to run you about $6,100. So your total out of pocket on this scenario is, is going to be somewhere around $30,000 uh, 31,000, somewhere in that neighborhood, uh, depending on the appraisals and surveys and title work and things like that. Uh, but that should give you a really, really good close uh, ballpark figure uh, for what it would cost you to buy a home that is $400,000 and you have decided to put 5% down. So 30,000 to 30, 31,000. Now, don't forget to account for that is a total out of pocket number. So don't don't forget to account for any uh, um, earnest money that you have put towards the uh, transaction and any option fees or any seller credits that they may 
may offer you. Uh, when the market is slow, you will have more and more sellers that will say, hey, I'll, I'll pay 5000 5, of your uh, closing cost, or I'll pay $2,500 of your closing cost. Uh, that gets to be pretty common uh, when the market slows down. And when it's really hot and you have 15 offers on the, on the table, then you're not going to find a seller that is going to pay uh, your closing costs. So, uh, so anyway, take 30,000, 31,000, subtract what you've already put into the transaction, the pest inspection, the uh, uh, earnest money. Earnest money is typically 1% of the sales price in the state of Texas. Uh, and then sometimes you will put down an option fee of 150 to 300 dollars, something, something like that. So we'll make sure that uh, that you get credit for all of that, and then double check all of our numbers and get you the uh, final number that you uh, you need to uh, close the transaction. So hope that uh, answers any questions you have about what does it cost me to buy a home. It's uh, pretty straightforward, and uh, but just remember as you're out making all of these calls about, hey, what's your rate and what's your closing cost? The lender has little or no control over sections uh, two through eight. They only control the uh, lender section, which is section A of that uh, uh, closing disclosure. So anyway, if I can answer uh, any questions, let me know. All of my contact information is down below and uh, we'll see you next time. Take care.